Thank you. Thank you for attending JTAG Vigor IPPVX Certified Team webinar. My name is Perry Liao, the Marketing Project Manager of JTAG Corporation. In this technical application-based webinar, we will focusing on the latest firmware version 3.5.5.3 to introduce those benefits can be provided by JTAG Vega IPVVX certified team to the real case business scenario. In fact, JTAG's Vega IPVVX certified team can be treated as the remedy from the traditional PVX setup for you to get rid of the costly implementation or the tedious settings. Secondly, we will introduce savings from IP telephony provided by Vigor IPPVX Certified 10. In the former webinar, we know Vigor IPVX Certified 10 can let the user enjoy the least cost routing based on its IP telephony features. In this section, we will emphasize on the DigiMap feature to let you know how Vigor IPVX Certified 10 provides the least cost routing in the most convenient way. For the Digimap configuration, you go to the IPPVX station of its web user interface and then you choose Style Plan and then you can choose the Digimap setup page. The beautiful thing to use the Digimap is user don't need to dial the spatial number to select the outgoing line or they not even need to change their call behavior. And JTAX Vega IPVX certified team provide up to 20 profile for your Digimap rule settings. Before we move to our Digimap configuration, let's recall a little bit what we have done in the wizard feature. We let the SMB team register at the IP tail and then the system automatically assign the zip trunk number 001 to SMB team. Actually, the trunk number 001 would be the same as the trunk zip1 in the DigiMap rule. So by the same token, the SMB West got the trunk number 002 in the wizard. Actually, it got the trunk number zip2 in the DigiMap. So for the C-level officer, they got the trunk number 006 they actually got the trunk number zip6 in the Digimap route. The later configuration we will separate to two groups. The first group would be profile 1 to 4. It means the long distance codes within US. Actually, users just need to dial the normal number. For example, the codes in United States would be the 3 digit area code plus the 7 digit phone number and then the Digimap will select the appropriate trunk or we say trunks for then without changing the user behavior. For example, SMB Easting got a bunch of important customers located in Miami, Florida with the same area code 305. From New Hampshire to Miami, Florida, we know this would be the long distance code, so we let them go to the trunk, zip trunk, and the zip trunk belonging to the SMB East would be the zip one belonging to SMB East. And we can also do the backup trunk when the zip one trunk is temporary out of office, and I will choose for the zip six. Another example we do is for the SMB West team. They got a bunch of important customers located in Los Angeles, California. From East Coast to West Coast would definitely be the long distance code. And luckily, those customers got the same area code 213. So we let the code to the 213 which reached the important customer located in Los Angeles, California. We go to the zip trunk belonging to SMB West, let's say zip 2, and also let them be backed up by the zip 6. So, by the same token, we can do for our gov sitting, which has the important customer in the Washington DC, and then also for our 
health canteen which got an important customer in the ocean, Texas. They then go to the zip trunks to save the long distance cold charge. Another group which will be the profile 5 to 6. They are the long distance cold but outside United States. Users still just need to dial the normal number without adding the international code or even the area code. The digital map will automatically fulfill them and select the appropriate trunk or trunks to dial up. For the technical support specialist team, they sometimes need to call the manufacturer of, I mean the Taiwanese manufacturer, to discuss some technical issues. So from the call from United States to Taiwan would be the international phone call. We know they would be definitely the long distance call and we would like to let them go to the zip trunks to save the international phone call charge. And we also want to save users time to adding those you know, international call and uh, each area call. So we let them go to the add mercer to let each call reach to the star number 597 belonging to the Taiwanese manufacturer will automatically add AA6, the international call in Taiwan and the area call of this Taiwanese manufacturer and then let this call go to C5 belonging to the TSS team and also can be backed up by C6. Another would be the C-level officer. They sometimes need to call the boss of Taiwanese manufacturer directly and they would even like to let them go to the mobile phone directly. So we let them only need to dial the star digit, star 4 digit of the Taiwanese mobile number and then automatically replaced by the international code number and the mobile number star digit and then they then go to zip trunk, you know, international phone call plus its mobile number. So it definitely would like to go to the zip trunk. But this time, we allow the backup trunk to be set as PSTN1. You know, C-level officer, they are hardly make call, making call by themselves. So when they want to reach someone and the zip trunk is gone, they got the privilege to use the PSTN1 trunk to reach the the one they want would like to talk to. In addition to the digital map feature, in the dial plane function, when you click dial plane, you can also find the speed dial. Speed dial can even help you to reach the routine context even faster. JTAG provide up to 20 profile for your speed dial route setup. For example, if you say your speed dial number just two digits, three five, it actually implemented three zero five six seven eight one two three, which would be the routine long distance code contact belonging to SMBS team. So we then go to the trunk zip one, and then for the SMBS team member, they can reach their routine contact even faster. Vega IPvX certified team also provides the authentication pin code function to let you to save money when you want to make the code through the PSTN trunk. So you go to the IPvX section and choose line setting. This time you choose the PSTN trunk. You can see there is a pin code section. You can set the off name or on name pin code more and with the different or the same password so give you money one more step for protection when your employee want to make the outgoing code to the PSTN trunk. Thank you for your attending or listening today.